اعلام میمونه از خارجی ها بوده از طرف پشت سر از تپه هم یک انفجار یا انتحار دیگه ساحه را بررسی دارن بچا صورت گرفته و یک دو دانه مهاجمین میخواست خود داخل خانه بسازه گاردا زده اندشان کشته شده از بین رفته من خانه را هم سعی کردم تمام ساحه فعلا کردم فایر درگیری و حرف و گپ نیست یک گارد نیپالی زخمی شده I will first of all um, let me take this opportunity to offer my condolences to those who lost their lives this morning, the families uh, and friends of those who lost their lives and were injured in this uh, appalling uh, attack. We know uh, that alongside one uh, British civilian security officer, uh, one Afghan uh, locally employed member of the embassy staff uh, and a number of uh, other Afghans were killed in this senseless and cowardly uh, attack through a suicide, what appears to be a suicide uh, uh, vehicle bomb. What I can say is that it reminds us once again uh, of the risks that our personnel take every day uh, in trying to help the Afghans to build a better future for that country and by helping them to do so to protect our own security and our own uh, interests. We hugely value their work. We're extremely grateful to them for that work and, and I know that the British people uh, will always uh, recognise and appreciate the huge risks that they take on our behalf. Uh, good evening. Um, I'd like first of all to uh, thank my legal team, James Price, Victoria Jolliffe, Lucy Middleton and Henry Fox. Uh, secondly, I'd like to thank my family uh, and all my friends uh, in the international development community, my constituents, for their loyalty and support during the last two years. Obviously, I'm bitterly disappointed by the uh, result of the judgment uh, today. This has been a miserable two years. But we now need to bring this matter to a close and to move on with our lives. Thank you very much indeed. Are you going to drop the order? Mr. Mitchell.